Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker is now just 148 days away from its release date on December 19th of this year by writer and director J.J. Abrams and Chris Terrio. That is all set and ready to deliver many different revelations that will lead to saga-wide implications in this story. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now, what's really exciting about Episode 9 is that we do know that this film, at the end of the day, is going to be, well, a revelation film. It's going to have a lot of twists and turns that's going to change how we view The Force Awakens and The Last Jedi. Now, J.J. Abrams changed a lot of elements of this story, of course, during the rewrites back in November and December of 2018, and included a lot of scenes that were filmed throughout the early months of this year, leading to the reshoots that actually began back in April and are all the way extended to September of this year. Now, these past couple of weeks or so, we've been learning a whole lot more about this film, and when it all comes down to one of the set leaks, this is where things begin to get very intense for the character of Rey and for what seems to be Rey's brother in Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. Now specifically, what's really intriguing about all of this is that it's described that one of the scenes that were filmed during the month of November 2018 over in Cardington involved the scene that was said to be in the form of a flashback. It's described that Daisy Ridley was on set as Rey, watching a younger version of herself, watching a young boy being taken away on a desert world. It's described that this boy was portrayed by a young actor where his costume design was dubbed as Rey's sibling. It's described that the scene involves a moment in which the young boy, said to be around the age of 10 or 11 years old, stores something very valuable inside of Rey's staff that is said to be a Jedi relic and throws it to Rey before he is taken away on board on a large ship from strange creatures that appear to be warriors associated with the First Order and perhaps bounty hunters. It's said that within this staff is a small device that once belonged to an ancient Jedi thousands of years ago that is described to have a big impact in the third act of the film that will explain another importance of Rey's staff. So let's go over a couple of parts about this because it really does kind of make us view, view The Force Awakens in a different light and look back at one of the pieces of dialogue where Rey says in response to BB-8 when BB-8 asks her, you know, what she's really waiting for. And she says, for my family, which could very well imply more than just her parents per se, but an entire family that she once had. So this is also to take place on a desert world, which I would have to say most likely is going to be Jakku, Pasana, or maybe even Tatooine for all we know. The one thing that we do know about Episode 9 is that recently new canon material for The Rise of Skywalker, I believe it was in one of the databanks or something around those lines, where we actually do learn that Rey was not born on Jakku. So that is one thing to keep in mind here is that she was actually left on Jakku and stranded on that world. Now, what's really interesting about this is that this is an adult version of Rey watching a younger version of herself watching an actual boy being taken away by these warriors on board of a large ship where this boy and the actor who portrayed this young boy, the costume design is actually dubbed as Rey's sibling. Where the actual scene goes as follows where this young boy tosses Rey's staff toward Rey where inside the boy placed a Jedi relic, a Jedi relic inside that is said to have once belonged to an ancient Jedi. Now, this is actually said to be crucial to one of the storytelling elements in the third act of episode 9 that's going to show us another importance of Rey's staff and why she holds on to it for so very long throughout the sequel trilogy. So, what's really great about this is that this really is adding in a lot of depth to the character of Rey and her backstory, her past, etc., her family, where she comes from, and how that's going to be utilized in Episode 9. So this is a new take on flashbacks because now we actually are set to see an adult version of Rey actually watching her younger self watching her own brother, whether it's a brother that's blood related or not blood related is a big question open on the table for discussion. But nonetheless, this character is dubbed as Rey's sibling. So this, this character is said to be around the ages of 10 to 11 years old, whereas the young version of Rey that we saw in The Force Awakens, at least in my point of view, was no older than maybe eight or nine. 
So looking at this, the brother actually seems to be an older sibling than Ray. And with that being said, we do know that this film really is going to deliver the experience of family to a different level. We do know that this movie really is going to be very family oriented. You know, The Last Jedi kind of shifted away from that, and now in The Rise of Skywalker, it really is going to be used as the main theme in Episode 9, very much like how it was used in the original trilogy, mostly in The Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi. Now, additionally, what I like about this is that this also creates a lot of mystery. What happened to Ray's sibling slash brother? Where is he as we speak? Is he alive? Is he dead? Is he going to be un unveiled in present time? You know, when Ray is an adult, that's a big question open on the table for discussion that a lot of people are questioning themselves right now. Anyways, guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank Thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.